Hello, everybody. Reverend Doctor right here. <clears throat> I just did a video covering this, but I'm not so sure I'm gonna publish it because I think I just kind of rambled without actually making my point. <clears throat> so I'm probably gonna publish this one instead. <clears throat> now, um, a lot of people answered my question with different topics of what you want to me to do a video on. I will get to every topic on that list. Topic being covered in this video is the Antichrist. <clears throat> um, now I did already cover this topic a few months back. <clears throat> I think it was back in May. But I'm going to go over it again briefly. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I can go on for hours about this topic. Uh, you know, <clears throat> rather in depth, going, you know, mentioning every last little bit of uh, detail that I know. So I'm not going to do that here because I really don't want to make a three, four, five hour long video. I want to be just to the point, keep everybody's attention going. Uh, and if you want to contact me personally, I will be more than happy to. Um, speak with you on this topic or any topic for that matter. Um, all my contact information is up on the website spiritualmessiahministries.org. Um, <clears throat> now, <clears throat> just to reiterate, for in-depth information of what I'm going to cover here, I want you to go to spiritualmessiahministries.org and read the article, Islam and the Bible. And the article, Is the Antichrist a Muslim? And watch the video, Islam and the Bible. Uh, the reason why I say this is because like many others out there, I believe that the Antichrist will be of Muslim descent. Now, the reason why I say it is because if you take a close look at prophecy, specifically at the four horses, in Zechariah, it, it splits the pale green horse into the pale and the green, which is a little ironic because even though the horse is supposed to be spirits, um, green is the color of Islam, and I believe it was the green that is also connected to death and disease. Um, and what do we see with the Muslims? If you're not a Muslim, they are going to kill you. They will behead you. Um. They feel that there will not be peace unless everybody is a Muslim. And if you refuse to convert and believe in Allah, they will be hedging. That's that's in their scriptures what it says. If you just kind of look at statistics and look at what's happening around the world, it isn't that hard to figure out that what everybody's calling radical Islam here in America is in fact Islam. And as I covered in another video, to say radical this or radical that, all you're doing is saying that, that, is, that you're agreeing that that is the root of whatever it is you're talking about. So to say someone's a radical Christian, you are saying that that particular Christian is following the root form of Christianity, which naturally would go back to the exact teachings of Jesus Christ. Uh, you also would be agreeing then that radical Islam is the root form of Islam and therefore anybody who is a radical Islamist or a radical Muslim is in fact practicing Islam the way it was meant to be practiced. Um, now we have that settled. Like I covered 
uh, in Islam in the Bible, and in the article, uh, Is the Antichrist a Muslim? If you compare the end time scriptures of the Quran with the end time scriptures of the Bible, more famously known as the Book of Revelation, although Zechariah, Isaiah, and Daniel also go in, into um, end times, but we'll use the Book of Revelation. If you compare the scriptures describing the Christian Antichrist with the Islamic Mahdi, they are one and the same. Now, if you don't already know, the Islamic Mahdi is the Islamic Savior. It, it, the Mahdi is the equivalent of the Jesus Christ of the Christians or the Messiah of the Jews. But in the book of Revelation, in the book of Daniel, book of Isaiah, everywhere we're describing the Antichrist, okay, matches perfectly with what the scriptures in the Quran say about the Mahdi. <coughs> Which would only need one to believe that the Islamic Mahdi or the Islamic Savior is one and the same with the Christian Antichrist. <coughs> um, and I believe that's all broken down for you in the article Islam in the Bible and more so in other areas in the article Is the Antichrist a Muslim? And now it also now you put out you put that with the fact that you have the green horse or the pale horse in the book of Revelation that is supposed to control or destroy rather a fourth of the planet and as we stand today Islam population wise is roughly one fourth of the world's population. Then you also have the fact that in Zechariah the pale green horse is split in two between the pale and what the pale means and the green and what the green means. Which just makes the prophecy so much easier to understand because looking at the green, even though it's more so in the spiritual sense, the um Green happens to be the color of Islam. So now we have the green horse, which is the color of Islam, which you know, is also supposed to bring this death and destruction and chaos to a quarter of the world. Islam has roughly a quarter of the world's population and growing. But that's where we stand today. We are looking at the recreation of the Ottoman Empire and that is being done with the aid of Obama who admitted we said that he is of uh, <coughs> Islamic descent and is in fact a Muslim. He does follow Islam. He did admit that. So you have a Muslim who has relatives that are members of the Muslim Brotherhood and um, the leader of Al-Qaeda in Kenya are his relatives. And through Obama's aid, the Muslim Brotherhood took over Egypt, the Muslim Brotherhood took over Libya, the Muslim Brotherhood is now taking over Syria. The Muslim Brotherhood took over Iraq. The Muslim Brotherhood took over Afghanistan. Um, we are seeing a rise of this anti-Semitic uh, type propaganda here in America, as well as in other areas of the world. Um, and on numerous occasions, Obama has pretty much told Israel can wear a ticket, which I'm not too happy about, but he did. 
uh, which is making, just proving that he's an enemy of Israel, he's not an ally of Israel. Um, and it kind of shows where his allegiance is. So now you have a Muslim who is in power of great authority, who is helping in the reconstruction of the Ottoman Empire, and <coughs> it is stated that once the Ottoman Empire is recreated, what's going to happen is, 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 is it is in the Bible, in Bible, in the Bible prophecy, but it's also in the Quran and scriptures, that once the Ottoman Empire is reconstructed and the Muslims have their land back, back so they feel, because they feel it's their land, as we all know, even though it doesn't belong to them. What's going to happen is all the different sects of his, his Islam are going to come to a peace. And they're going to stop fighting each other. And they're going to be united under their Mahdi. <coughs> and they're going to lead this war against <coughs> their Satan, <coughs> which is our Savior. So see, all, all this is is one great big holy war that kind of started in the beginning of time and it's still going on and we're about to live through the end battle. <coughs> um, and then what we're going to we're, we're see happen, which you, if you're paying attention to the news, you'll realize is acts taking place right now is the fact that we're seeing a division of the Catholic Church. Um, what's going to happen is you're going to have this half of the Catholic Church and their Pope, this half of the Catholic Church and their Pope. The Vatican is literally going to split in two. And you're going to have this Vatican and this side of Catholicism that are going to be found in very strict and traditional Catholic beliefs. And then you're going to have this side on the Vatican with their Pope preaching all this heresy and blasphemy that we're seeing come to arise here in the Catholic churches here in America as well as a lot of the other Protestant churches. They're all pretty much preaching the same heresy. And that is, is being helped along by the Obama administration and different um, Muslim brother front groups are helping fund this division and help, helping cause this great division. And the Pope of this Catholic Church over here is going to be the fourth prophet who's going to wind up recreating the, whole, the Holy Roman Empire. <clears throat> and once the Holy Roman Empire is reconstructed, What's now going to happen is he's going to take the Holy Roman Empire, <coughs> excuse me, and he's going to merge it with the Ottoman Empire by allying himself with the Antichrist. And now we're going to have the New World Order. Um, the New World Order. Is going to be, I feel it's going to be headquartered out of the United Nations. The United Nations is going to act much like our White House here in America. <coughs> but they're going to be the authority on everything political as well as everything spiritual. And there will be no separation. Uh, and if you take a look at what the Vatican is trying to do, we can already see that coming to pass because the Vatican did suggest that we create this one world religion uh, and that the Vatican, with the aid of the United Nations, should be the authority figure of this one world religion. And so, so, you know, as you can see, the dots are all, can be connected, and we can all determine who the Antichrist is. 
the only thing that can't really be determined just yet is who the false prophet is. Because I do believe the false prophet is within the Vatican already. But I don't believe it's the current Pope. Is either going to be the Pope that surpasses him, or is it going to be somebody from within the Vatican that, be, that rises to be Pope of the split Vatican? So it's kind of hard to say who the false prophet is just yet. But you can at the dots, we can see where there's very strong evidence is pointing at who the Antichrist is, and the fact that he is rising to power. So if you look at, at uh, if you truly understand prophecy, you will see that the stage has been getting set for a really, really long time. Well, the stage is just about done. It is, the construction is complete. The stage is set. All we're waiting on now is to see it all play out. Um... So, going by prophecy, I'm going to agree with the people that suggest that the Antichrist is a Muslim. I'm going to agree with the fact that the Muslim Caliphate in the Middle East is, in fact, being rebuilt. What I'm going to disagree on, however, is that the Muslim Antichrist is going to rise from the Middle East. Nothing exactly dictates that. All I can see that prophecy dictates is that the Antichrist, in the spiritual sense, is Islam. <coughs> Islam, more or less, is the Antichrist, or it is, it is, it's the essence of the Antichrist. As far as the actual leader, um, the, the Antichrist person, personification, the, the man who's supposed to act as the physical being of the Antichrist, doesn't actually state where his being is going to rise from. So, again, if you can't all the dots, there's rather strong evidence pointing at the fact that Obama just might be the Antichrist himself. Um, I'm not going to say that 100%. I'm still trying to take very close examination into this. Um, there's still certain key factors that haven't played out, and there's other things with Obama being the Antichrist that just doesn't make any sense just yet. And so I'm still waiting to see what this next year is going to bring before I can come to a full determination on that. But strong evidence does point in that direction. I mean, he is of Muslim descent. He does have relatives in Al Qaeda. He does have relatives in the Muslim Brotherhood. He did aid in the reconstruction of the Muslim Caliphate, known as the Ottoman Empire. <coughs> so there's a lot of strong evidence pointing in that direction. <coughs> um, and there's always the fact of what he's doing to go ahead and make himself full-on dictator. <coughs> Excuse me. And there's always the, the full-on evidence of what he's just done to make himself full-on dictator of America between the fact that he, that he literally destroying our Constitution and stripped us of all of our freedoms. And there's also the fact that he's the first president in American history to also be the head of FEMA. And so pre pretty much, no matter what happens, martial law or not, he's got the control. If he's just another puppet, and the next president winds up being the Antichrist, well now that per particular person has all the authority. Whether they're strictly president or martial law is declared, FEMA takes over. Well, them being the head of FEMA, you know, they don't lose any power, they just gain power. So, uh, 
who I say is Danny Christ, I'm going to say it depends on what takes place in the next six months. I'm going to say to, to, to keep a close eye on the Islamic world, pay really close attention to what's going on. Um, if anything else happens in the West, before you believe the propagandized type of mainstream media, you try to take a real close look at it and determine if that was a preemptive attack. I do feel that something to that state might happen. I mean, if you look at how Hitler rise to power, he blew up parliament, his own parliamentary building, and blamed it on terrorists, on communist terrorists. So, now I don't see why the same thing can't happen here again. I mean, history does have a tendency to repeat itself. Um, so if you can't hold the dots, I'm pretty sure you can see where all the evidence is pointing. And I'm sure you, can, you should have no problem determining for yourself who the Antichrist is. Um, now the, the, real, the real question is, you know, who is the false prophet? How close are we seeing, how close are we to seeing the rise of the false prophet? Because when, once we start seeing the rise of the false prophet, we know that the Antichrist is not going to reveal himself because it's not real, it doesn't matter how certain any of us are on who the Antichrist is or isn't. Because the Antichrist isn't really going to reveal himself in that sense until he's ready to. He's not going to be ready to until his empire is complete. And while the Holy Roman Empire is still being worked on, there's still much work to be done for the reconstruction of that, and we're still waiting on possible suspects of the false prophet to rise up. And the Ottoman Empire over there in the Middle East is being rebuilt and is almost completed. So, I'm going to say that right now it's not going to matter who we think it is or isn't. Because Antichrist isn't going to reveal himself yet. <clears throat> do I feel that we are, in fact, watching the rise of Antichrist? Yes, I do. We are watching the rise of Antichrist. Like I said, connect the dots. It should be really easy to determine who the Antichrist is. Especially if you're awake to the truth. If you're awake to the truth, you shouldn't even need me or anybody to tell you who the Antichrist is. You should already know who the Antichrist is. Um, as far as getting the masses to understand that, it's not going to happen. I mean, I'm not going to say don't stop trying because that's our job. Our job is to preach the gospel. Our job is to try to wake up other people. Our job is to bring the lost back to God. <clears throat> but at the same time, it's prophesied that the masses will be under a delusion. They're going to follow the Antichrist and actually believe that the Antichrist is in fact Jesus Christ, the second coming of Jesus Christ. And they're not going to recognize Jesus Christ. And it will only be during the rule of the Antichrist that you're going to have massive conversions back to Christianity. So, and then here, so, and here again, that's why we should not stop preaching the gospel and we should not stop trying to wake people up because it's going to be through us preaching now while they're refusing to hear it that when the Antichrist rises to power he might actually be clicking their heads and they'll come to Jesus Christ. Well, I do believe that we are watching the rise 
of the Antichrist right now. The stage is being set. His empire is being constructed. And it's really only a matter of time before he's going to reveal himself. And I feel that somewhere within the next six months, we are going to have an event take place, or a series of events take place, that is not only going to finish out the, the reconstruction of the Ottoman Empire, bring peace to the, to the Muslims, where the individual sects of Islam stop warring each other because now they're under control of their Mahdi which once that happens you know right there that whoever the hell is controlling them it ha has them all peaceful that's, our, that's the Antichrist once it happens that's the Antichrist that is, it's certain we don't have to wait any longer but through this event or series of events that's going to take place in the next six months we're also going to see the, fin the finishing of the recreation or the reconstruction of the Holy Roman Empire, the split of the Catholic Church into the traditional Catholic Church and the new Catholic Church, the new Catholic Church being led by the false prophet, and then the merger of the two empires into one global empire led by the Antichrist and the false prophet. Um, And about a year from now, we will be the the construction of the global empire should be complete, <coughs> and we will pretty much be beginning be beginning in the reign of the Antichrist. And we'll be beginning our 42 months or three and a half years of everything that is stated in the book of Revelations between the death and destruction and famine and disease and my life this planet and humankind has never seen before. And then ultimately we will see the final battle. And then obviously all the children of God will return home. We will have a thousand year reign under Jesus Christ. The Satan will be let loose again for a short time. And then we go home. Getting back to the point, I do feel that we are in fact in end times. This is in fact the final hour. Uh, final hour is almost up. And we are in fact watching the rise of the Antichrist right before our eyes. We are watching the construction of the Antichrist's global empire right before our eyes. And just the fact that there are masses of so-called Christians following these heretical spiritual leaders and believing in, <coughs> believing all those blasphemous teachings that are being uttered out of, of these spiritual leaders' mouths <clears throat> and the fact that we have so much willing conversions to Islam which is the green horse in the book of Revelations This is it.
the fact that we're, that we're watching all this, and the fact that no matter how hard you try to wake people up, and you show them the facts, and you throw the statistics at them, you throw, you know, <clears throat> concrete evidence at them, they're still going to convert to Islam, they're not going to believe you, they're going to stay asleep, they're going to tell you you're insane, they're going to tell you you're crazy, they're going to call you all these names, The masses—it's Bible prophecy being played out. The Book of Revelations, the Book of Daniel—it's happening right now. Um. So yes, I do believe we are watching the rise of the Antichrist. Yes, I do believe <coughs> in the Antichrist is a Muslim. And if you connect the dots, I'm sure you can determine you can determine for yourself who the Antichrist is, and as I said this next six months will either prove it to be true or, or prove it to be wrong and just pay real close attention to the events that take place this next six months uh... and now this video is going is a little over a half hour now I'll cut it here but I'm going to do a follow up video at some point, whether it's right next video or video down the line, I'm going to do a video about, you know, what I feel about the return of Jesus Christ. And use different scriptures to prove what I feel about that. Um, well, please, come out to watch this video, and I thank you for it. Uh, go to spiritualmessiahministries.org and read the article <coughs> Islam and the Bible and read the article Is the Antichrist a Muslim? And watch the video Islam and the Bible because that gives you more in-depth information and, and, and a breakdown of the Bible prophecy and, and the scriptures and a comparison of the Bible and the Quran, all right there in black and white. Uh, and it goes a little bit more in depth than what, than what I had in this video. And if you would like for me to go more in depth with you, you go to spiritualmessiahministries.org on the contact page. My, the kind of information for me is listed there. So send me an email, give me a phone call. Um, contact me on Facebook, however you want to do it. I will answer any questions you might have. I will go as in-depth as you want me to go. Um, and please pass this video on. Let's get this information out there and try to wake up as many people as we can to the truth. Uh, that being said, <clears throat> I'm going to cut this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, please go to the website and read those articles. Watch the video, pass the video, pass this video on. Let's get the truth out there. Thank you for watching. And until next time. God bless.